Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, we're going to make a quick design on using the ADC um, IC to convert analog signal to a digital signal, which can be processed by a microprocessor or microcontroller. Um, in such cases, a typical example we're going to have is a temperature sensor, which is being read by a microcontroller. And we are not going to use a, an onboard microcontroller ADC, but an external ADC for that matter. Um, this is going to help um, those um, using the A51s, uh, which does not have any peripheral ADC on board, but then to use an external one as in that case here. Yeah. So in today's video, uh, on today's um, tutorial, so we'll be using the ADC0808 uh, from Tetris Instrument. So let's go ahead and uh, let's start. So uh, I'm going to pick up my part by pressing the P on my keyboard to pick up my part, my part list. And I'm going to type ADC0808. Um, so that gives me my IC that I need. I'm going to click to add it to my list here. The next I'm going to add here is going to be my LM35 as well, which is going to be my temperature sensor. So I don't click on that as well to add it to my list here. I think that's about it. All right. So first of all, let's talk about the, the IC uh, to understand what um, everything is being done here. So this is an 8-bit uh, this is an 8-bit uh, ADC, um, so in total it can do a conversion of 2 raised to the power 8, which is 256, and it has 8 input as well, so that's good. You can have 8 different um, analog uh, devices you want to measure, but coming out from a common um, output, um, which is which is here. So these are, these are our input here. But then the question is going to be how do we um, differentiate from which input uh, we are taking from. So it has an addressable um, input, so that is being controlled by A, D, D, A, B, and C here. So um, setting all these to zeros um, allows us to use the first one, and then um, decimal value one for converting that to binary will tell us um, which one to use for either A, B, and C. However, this is um, also um, given out in the data sheet, so you can always make reference to to that in the data sheet here. Um, pin 22 here, which is ALE, here, means um, um, address latch enabled. Um, once this is uh, set to high, then that means uh, we cannot um, address it anymore. So to enable it, uh, we're going to pull that high. But in our case here, we are going to use, uh, we don't bother, we we're just using one, one for that. We have our view ref here, uh, which is our positive side of the voltage reference we need. That's going to be our maximum um, uh, voltage you want to be reading. If it's 5 volts, you put 5 volts. If it's 3.3, you put 3.3 volts there. And then the voltage negative is going to be the lowest part of the reference um, we want to make um, for our ADC conversion here. For every ADC to work, um, it works through what we call a clock cycle. Um, so we need some clocking to be done here. That determines how fast the conversion is going to be done. And then the start here tells us when to start the conversion. And end of conversion here tells us when the conversion is done. So a signal is going to post out uh, when the conversion is done. You can tie that to an interrupt uh, of the microcontroller just to know when the conversion is done. But in our case here, sorry, the last one is the output enabled here, which is also going to enable the output here. Uh, all right, so for start and then you'll see here, we are going to put them together because uh, we are going to do a continuous uh, um, conversion. So once it's done, it's going to start again. So it's, it goes into a cycle mode. All right. The next is um, we're going to pull these um, eight. A, B, and C, A, B, C to low as well as a, a large and number two to low. So I'm going to tie that to my ground here. And then my voltage reference to for my negative part is also going to tie to ground here. Um, in our case here, our maximum value here is going to be 5 volts here. So our 5 volts is going to translate to 256 for us. And I'm going to enable output as well for the for our output here. The next is to put a clock here, so I'm going to go to my generator mode, select uh, pulse, and then I'm going to mirror that on the x-axis. Alright, so that, and um, we connect that. And we want to set your frequency to be a bit high, so and I'll use about uh, 100 hertz, um, and then the pulse, uh, the high for the pulse will be set to 5 volts. Uh, we click OK here, and then we should be ready to, to do some conversion. But let's just to make sure everything works fine here. I'm going to go for a DC source here, and I'm going to set that to 2.5. So I put 2.5 here. So that should translate to uh, 128 actually here. So once I click um, on my simulation, we can see that 
only our first pin here is set to low and the rest is all set to high um, so let's be sure that this is working for us yet so I'm going to click stop and I'm going to open my calculator and move to a programmer mode in my calculator here so go to straight to programmer mode and my first bit was set to zero the rest was set to high so I'm going to set binary um, so it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 all right so that's it here you can see that's my 127 here so um, just like as I was saying there 128 because the first one is always not counted so um, we have in 127 here so our ADC is working and it's working as it's supposed to be all right so the next is um, let's get our temperature sensor and then let's get some some conversions that um, to be done okay all right so I connect my LM35 V out there and then my ground to pin 3 of my temperature sensor and then my power to pin 1 all right okay so now this should read uh, my output for me here um, as I wish it to be so we can see let's see our conversion here we can see here we have our conversion done here which gives us um, the value there as a four zeros um, three ones and then one zero here which gives us uh, this one number of 14 so that's 14 um, there so 14 we need to translate that into into this and that should tell us uh, whatever we we are reading okay All right so 14 which is my number uh, which we call uh, we call the the digital number over 256 right and then times uh, 5 volts but here we're going to use uh, 5000 and so we can do the calculation and see if we do have what we need i'm going to go back to scientific um, for this calculation so 14 over 256 times 5000 so that gives me 273 that and then we know by the data sheet of this um, we're going to divide this here by 10. so 27.3 degrees is, is what we are measuring so our ADC is working as expected it to be so you can tie this into your microcontroller and then from there you can do any conversion you need uh, if you need more assistance let me know and i'll be glad to help cheers